Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concept. So today on our weekly tips and tricks video, we're gonna do uh, something pretty basic, but kind of help you guys understanding a little bit about the hydrographics as well as what base colors to use. So you'll probably notice on the website, we have recommended base colors. Some are white, some are beige, blue, red, yellow, green. You can pick your whatever color. Some of them are any. Um, so the reason that you want to do that is because you can actually change the base colors and have a very dramatic effect on the way that the film looks. Now, on the flip side of that, you can also change the base color and have a pretty awful effect of what the film looks like. So, I uh, kind of wanted to just take into uh, a couple of different things to look at, uh, a couple of different films that we've got here to kind of show you guys how everything would look underneath different base colors. And then that way you can get a better understanding of what base color do you need for which film. So uh, we're gonna take the first one for instance and uh, this is just gonna be a carbon fiber. So this carbon fiber right here is actually our CF99. Um, it's a great carbon fiber. It's a black and clear and on the listing whenever you take a look at it on the website it'll say black and clear carbon fiber. And so what that means is is that you can probably see through this uh, but you can see my hand just like this, right? So what that means is that this color carbon fiber, you can see through it. So which means that whenever we get our color decks out, like this right here, and we start going through colors, we can use the base color underneath it to change the color of the carbon. And so whenever we take this and put this underneath it, now we can have a red carbon, a green carbon, a blue carbon, an orange carbon, and we can just keep on going down the line. So this is gonna be a really universal carbon fiber that works really well. Now, at this point, customer has to choose what color they want, whether it be red, blue, black, green, something like that. So one thing to remember though is that if I do a black, and I know I just said that, but on this pattern just that I've got right here, it's a black and clear. So if you put black over black, guess what? It's black. So doesn't really look too good. It's not gonna show up at all. Um, you're just pretty much gonna be wasting your time. So of course, what we have uh, to kind of help show a lot of customers is we have a lot of our spray out cards that we've done a lot of our colors with and we can actually lay them underneath the film. And so if you wanna kinda of show your customer what it looks like or even something that would be really similar to that, it's very easy to take a color card like this, place it underneath the film, and then now you can see exactly what a red base color right here will look like underneath this pattern. And so that gives the customer something uh, very visual to see. So a lot of the times you're probably thinking, okay, well I don't have time to sit here and spray out all 20 or 50 of these uh, cards. So that's actually where um, we have another thing that you can do that's pretty, uh, pretty cheap, pretty easy to do, and uh, it works really well. So these you can find at like a local Hobby Lobby or um, any of your craft stores, things like that. And so pretty much all it is is just a whole bunch of cardboard cardstock pretty much uh, they use them a lot for I believe um, crafting and uh, maybe uh, photo books and all that stuff but um, anyways what this does is it makes it really nice because then let's say he wanted a blue carbon fiber I can take this and lay it over me over that blue and I still get the same result so um, you don't have to have a whole bunch of spray out cards to be able to do that, the main thing is you just need the color. So if you have a, a magazine sitting around or you have something of that color sitting around, that way you can see what it looks like. So on a pattern like this, that's a black and clear, you have almost endless possibilities of colors that you can choose from for the actual uh, color of the film to be underneath it. So this one is pretty easy. You can use just about any color on. So now, Let's move on to something else. Um, so this one is going to be the SAD087. And so what this is, is it's pretty much just a red bandana print. Now, on something like this, you can see it does have a little bit of clear in it, not much, but a little bit, and you can kind of see my hand through there. So whenever we set it down on the table here, you can see a little bit of the, the yellow coming through in the actual red that it has. So you can see kind of the 
the tape that's on the table, it's showing up as yellow through these little bitty spots here. So this pattern right here would be something that would have to have a defined color. And so because it has the red color and it has the red and the black and the clear, you really need to do more than likely a white base coat. And so with a white base coat, what you're going to be getting is it to look exactly like the photo that's on the website. And so by doing this, I can kind of show you here, this is exactly what the photo looks like on the website. It looks really good, really vibrant. You get a really good pop of color with the red and then the black and all the white that's in there. Now, going on the flip side of that, if we was to change that color, it's really not gonna look that great because you can even see just from this orange that we've got right here, we don't have a lot of color anymore. It just all mutes it out. And so sometimes that's where looking at the website, you can see how using the recommended base color will really affect that actual film itself. So now we could probably use a red underneath this. Now the problem with that is, is that if we did go with a red, then we're still pretty much taking out all of the white that used to be in all of these areas right here and we're just making it all red. So something like that would probably work, but putting it underneath like a brown like this right here, not really gonna look too great just because it changes the entire look of the color of the pattern itself. So on some films, you will have to make sure that you use the correct base color because it's not gonna look right if you don't, all right? So now let's move on to something else. So we've kind of saw what like a solid color looks like, what a black and clear looks like. So let's move on to something like a camouflage, which is probably gonna be a real popular seller for a lot of you people out there. Um, so with the camouflage, you can change the color a lot as well. And so this one right here is the SKO 396. And so what we're gonna do here is, is first off, we're gonna show it underneath a white. And so, let me get this open here. And so with this right here, underneath a white, you've got a really bright and vibrant color. You can see how all the white really pops. It makes the brown pop. You got a lot of detail in here. Pattern looks really good, really amazing. Now, let's say that it's a little too bright for the customer, right? So this is what it's gonna look like online. Whenever you see it online, most of the time they're taken under white base coat. So then that way you can see how bright they are, how true of a color they are, and everything like that. Sometimes they may be on a different color, but we try to put that in the description below. Like if it is take, taken underneath a black base coat or a gray base coat or red or something like that. Um, but most of the time you can kind of gauge that most films, not all of them, but most of them, if they have a white in them, a lot of the times they're gonna be clear. And so you can see how a lot of this white right in here, technically it's actually clear because you can see my fingers through here. Now the other thing is, is let's say that we just use a red for instance. If I put this red underneath here, you see how much different that changes everything from how all that used to be white right in here, right in here, all of that, but now it's so subdued and it just doesn't really look too great. So there's some patterns that will look really good with just about any color. There's some patterns that won't look good with every color. So like on a camouflage, what we like to do is, is probably use some type of like a tan or a beige or something like that. And so you can see how it looks on a, just about a white color like through here. But whenever you put it over this right here, now we're starting to get more of a true earth tone or something like that. You can see that the leaves look a lot more brown. The, the color is a lot more like an earth tone. It's still a little bit bright. We've got this color here popping through in some of these areas, but it's not as, it's not as bright as the white that we have originally. And so we could even go so far as to do like a light tan or something like that. And you can easily see how 
that'll make it even go a lot darker. Now, something like this, a lot of people might really like just because it has a lot more truer colors of a real earth tone that it actually looks more like the actual colors of where they're hunting at. So um, on a pattern like this, you can really change the look of it just by going with different tones of different colors. So um, some patterns, they will take a just about any color base color that you want. Other patterns, they may only take a certain base color. And then, yes, I could throw a yellow under here or a green or a blue or a red, but as you saw, it doesn't really look too good. So sometimes if you're not for sure on how it's going to look before you dip it before you paint it before you do anything to it if you have the film you can quickly and easily put it over the over the top of any color that you've got laying around whether it be on cardstock or a painted part or anything even a magazine and see exactly how that's going to look and also it's really great because you can show the customer how it's going to look whenever you are trying to show them the differences in all of the films and the base color choices that they have. Now, of course, if they want something that looks identical to the website, white's probably gonna be the majority of what you're gonna be using. Now, the only difference is, is whenever you're using the custom film. So custom film almost always goes underneath a white base coat. So unless you have a black and clear printed film, you can use any base color you want on a black and clear. But if you have anything other than that, it's definitely gotta be white because the way that the custom film is printed, white is going to be the last color that you need to be able to make all the other colors pop. So if you have reds and blues and greens and yellows and blacks and all that, even though you put a white base coat down, the black will cover up the white, the yellow, will pop a lot more because it has the white base coat underneath it and everything will look a lot more truer to the actual film itself. So that's the only one that'll really have a definite defined one is going to be the custom film. But hopefully this has really helped you out on showing you the differences on what base color to use, how to kind of choose what base color you need, and also playing with different base colors to get a really cool effect. And really, we didn't even have to spray anything out. So we weren't out any money other than getting the film in, taking a look at it, and seeing what it looks like under a white, a beige, a green, a yellow, a black, anything like that. And then you can really see how it's gonna either pop or not pop with certain colors. So hopefully this has helped you out. If you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them below. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, if you haven't already, definitely hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you subscribe to our weekly tips and tricks. So until next time, I'm Brian from Liquid Concepts, and we'll see you guys next time.